Meanwhile, Apple, on a lighter note, may be getting ready to launch a new online TV service with about 25 channels. According to the Wall Street Journal, Apple is in talks with major networks like ESPN, Fox, and even CBS. We're joined, as usual, by TechNet, uh, by TechNet, by CNET reporter Bridget <laughs> Carey. What's up, Bridget? Hey, thanks for having me. So, tell us about this. Okay, so. It's not the first time we've heard this little rumor about that Apple's working on some sort of streaming service, but now a little more details are coming out in this report mm -hmm. that it could be about 25 channels. It may cost 30, maybe 40 dollars a month, and you might hear about it when Apple has their big event in June when they have a developers conference. They might start talking about it. But this is a time where more companies are looking to that alternative to your traditional cable when people want to, so to speak, cut the cord mm -hmm. when they don't want to spend so much on cable. Maybe they want to get streaming. Uh, television services over their computer, their internet connection with a streaming device hooked up to their TV, but not a traditional cable box. And this is kind of a Steve Jobs dream realized, Apple shaking up the TV industry. Now there are other companies that offer streaming, uh, Sling for example, mm -hmm. they're out there. How is this going to be different for consumers? Well, Sling is one of the first to kind of really shake things up, about 20 channels and about $20 a month. Um, you also have HBO. You just announced a standalone service called HBO Now. That's $15 a month. And PlayStation is even getting in. Sony is making their own version of this where you don't have to have, you know, your typical cable box. So I think you're seeing change is happening slowly. There's going to be some issues with getting all the channels you want on board because after all so many deals have to be made, you know, when it comes to negotiating. But at the same time, you as a consumer still need to have a really good internet connection to be able to get quality, you know, in terms of the, the streaming of this video. So you're going to be paying maybe more for cable, I mean, I should say internet, to get, to get those channels. Well, that's channels. where they make their money, right? right. Those companies right. really, that is the future for them. It's not necessarily offering 500 channels to consumers, right. it's the data. Right, right. And so, so either way, you're probably going to maybe be making uh, these kinds of bundles with your internet provider, which is still sometimes your cable provider. Right. One key question before we go, Comcast may be being left out of this and that's kind of a big business story right now. Yeah, that would be an issue because maybe there's some, you know, negotiation troubles with between Apple and Comcast and that of course includes NBC. So would you want to pay for a service if you don't get all the channels you want? That'll be a big issue. You still don't have to feel too bad for the cable companies. <laughs> They're just going to charge more for broadband. Bridget Carey, thanks. Thanks.